Hey guys, so today we're going to be making black bean and kidney bean tofu burgers. Here I have my block of tofu already drained. Um, this is one teaspoon of garlic, which would basically be two cloves of garlic. Um, a half a cup of barbecue sauce because I don't really want to put ketchup in it. <laughs> This is um, salt and some of the African pepper. It's a half a tablespoon each. I didn't have chipotle pepper, so I had to substitute for that. Um, here I have a half a cup of black beans rinsed and drained, and then a half a cup of kidney beans rinsed and drained. Here I have a half a cup of um, oatmeal, which will play for the breadcrumbs and here is my one egg replacement which is basically just a half I mean no a whole tablespoon of ground flax seed and some water it's three tablespoons of water I just put it in the, um, my Nutribullet and it grinds it up for me so yeah, um, you're also going to need some oil, of course, for your pot or your pan, just uh, one tablespoon. So we're going to take our beans, our garlic, our oats are already in the bowl. take our egg replacement <laughs> actually smells really weird but the texture is really eggy like when I whipped it um it it basically looked just like an egg so yeah and I'm gonna scoop more of that out once I put this camera down Go ahead and put our powder. Oh god, I know I'm gonna be choking. I just know I am. Just ground that up, the smell of it. Whew! Killing me. And this the barbecue sauce. And um, what we're going to do is blend it. I don't have a food processor. So I have to blend it up real quick. And I will let you guys see that. Okay, so it's all processed. I completely forgot that I had a Ninja. My roommate has a Ninja and it's basically a food processor. So make sure it gets all nice and smooth like this. I just pulsed it for, I don't know, about three or four times. And now with the tofu, I don't have a paper towel, but I just like to push down on it just to get the extra stuff out. So what I'm going to do is break it up and crumble it in. That's it. As much as I possibly can. This feels so gross. <laughs> ah, I feel like a sponge. The tofu that I have is extra firm. So make sure if you want to do this, you do either extra firm or super firm. This tofu is basically the tofu that's in most recipes that I've been looking at. Especially um, if you're freezing it. That the best to get is the um, extra firm or just normal super firm. I'm just now learning how to correctly do this with well cook with tofu before I thought that it was like you know like me and you could just um <laughs> you could just season it and put it in a in a pot or a pan but it doesn't get the full flavor that way so you have to drain it 
turn whatever seasoning you want into some type of liquid form. So just add water to whatever season you want. And then put it in the tofu. Let the tofu soak. Like, you know how we let chicken and stuff marinate? Basically. I mean, I don't know if I'm going to use a spoon. I think I'm just going to use my hand. Uh, I can't wait to get a real camera with a tripod. Uh, it would be so much easier taping for you guys. Especially because I'm only in the house right now. So no one can even help me. This smells like oatmeal. <laughs> Nothing else. Just oatmeal. This looks like a lot. Hmm. Should I add more tofu or save the tofu? I think I'm going to add more. Just because this is a really weird amount to have left behind. It's not even like... Make sure you get the the clumps like really really smooth into the um mixture. Well, at least I know I don't want to be biting into no big old chunk of anything when it's when I'm eating any kind of burger. So yeah, and then you're gonna take it and you're gonna mash up some and put it, make it into a patty. I'm gonna put it in the oven. The oil's already on. So, so I had it in a pan, but I switched over to my roommate's griddle because I just thought it would make more sense. And this is what they should look like on both sides or until as firm as you want them to be. Um, they're pretty firm to me at least. Um, but yeah, five minutes on each side is what the recipe said if you're gonna do this in a pot I mean a pan know that this is like the hardest thing to flip over <laughs> I don't know if it's just because of my left hand or what but this stuff in a pan was a struggle to get to the other side so yeah but I don't have burger buns so what I'm probably gonna do is because they're like the perfect size for like to crumble up and put over my salad or whatever. Probably going to eat them like little meatloaves or you know stuff like that like over my salad. But this is it. I'm about to make some um, sweet potato fries over there. That's my broccoli. <laughs> um, and that's it. Hopefully they're good. I'll be sure to tell you guys what they taste like. <laughs> See you guys later. Dessert time. So we're making lemon zest cookies today. Well, not lemon zest cookies, but lemon cookies today. And this is um, a half a cup of coconut oil, two cups of unbleached flour, a tablespoon of, uh, no, I'm sorry, a teaspoon of baking powder, teaspoon of salt, half a cup of sugar, three tablespoons of honey, um, a tablespoon of lemon juice, and we're supposed to use zest, but see, um, what had happened was, was that I didn't know how to use this, like, you know, like the grater thingy, and we don't, we don't have a zester or a grater, and I tried the knife technique, it did work. So yeah, <laughs> oh, you need a pen and a um, um, what's this thing called again? I forgot a whisk <laughs> and a spoon. I don't have my spoon, but yeah, let's get into it. Mm -hmm. I took the sugar and I dumped it in the oil, and I have to stir it up until it gets um. The recipe says fluffy, so I'm guessing I'm supposed to like whip this, but I don't know. The, um, the confusion with this recipe is that in the beginning, she doesn't say what kind of sugar she uses. 
And then in the end, it says granulated sugar. So, but that's for rolling, which I'm not going to do. But, um, it's pretty soft at the moment. So, I'm going to go ahead and add in the honey. This would also be where you would add in the zest from the, um, the lemon. But, um, I'm going to scrape that out. But, um, yeah, and you just mix, mix it all up in the bowl. It's pretty basic making, um, vegan desserts. You just have to know your egg replacements and stuff like that. This recipe doesn't even have, require an egg. And I was trying to pick between this or peanut butter cookies, but I didn't have enough um, brown sugar to do peanut butter cookies. So yeah, let's see, this kind of looks crunchy still. So I'm gonna stir that up some more, and when I come back, it should be poured in with that stuff. Okay. <laughs> so I mixed it up. I forgot to say that I also put the lemon juice inside of that um, mixture with the oil. I put the lemon juice in there and I mixed it up and it smells like lemon. I can smell it. <laughs> it's pretty good. Um, I greased my pan because I don't have um, the bacon, uh, bacon sheets and I preheated the oven to 350. So yeah and i'm gonna roll them up and flatten them down with a fork into just into little balls i don't know how many i'm gonna make though and then that'll be all see you guys when they're done i'm in the oven for about too long 20 minutes i forgot they were in there <laughs> but they're sweet you definitely need the lemon zest because they just taste like sugar cookies but hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoy eating bye